Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to run you through some helpful tips that will help you read BSC Scan better, help you make more informed decisions when you're actually purchasing tokens, or you just want to have a little bit of a research and a little look. These things will all have an advantage. So I'm going to run through what to look for, how to look at transactions, how to find out how much someone's paid, when they paid, etc. Loads of gems I'm going to give you in this video. So I'm going to use as an illustration my friend's token, which is Cobcoin. So this is a high reward BUSD token, very long term. And he's building up utility on it, so definitely check it out. So it's got 24,000 um, as a supply. There's 127 addresses holding this token and there's been 160 well 99 <laughs> sorry there's been 1699 transactions so transfers basically buys and sells yeah so first thing we want to do when you land on the page and you click bsc scan or you can copy the contract address in here you get landed on the transfer page this shows you the volume i always have a quick glance at the volume and look at exactly what's been happening so within 24 hours there's been quite a low amount of volume but don't forget this is an older token yeah pay attention to this part where it says pancake swap that means it's gone from pancake swap into someone's wallet that's a purchase yeah to confirm that we can click here which is the transaction hash and we can see at the top one shows them how much that person paid so they paid $13 now this is the tax or it might be actually the token amount and these are the rewards that are going out so these are going out to different holders yeah you can click the transaction hash and you can read through them. So it's a reward token. These are all the transactions that are going through. So one cent, one cent, two cent, one dollar, etc. And that's how much tokens he ended up with. So that was the tax. Yeah. If you want to confirm that or you have the person's wallet, you can click the wallet. And you can click BEP20. And you can click Cobcoin there. And you can see from the transaction hash here. Yeah. And that's pretty much the same thing as we saw. That's one of the things you can look at when purchasing um, or looking at purchases in the token. We can look at a sale as well now. So what you want to see is it going to PancakeSwap. So we can go back and maybe find one here. And it will show you exactly what's happened. So this is what's happened. You know, BNB transferred. It's done the swap, etc. And same thing's happened. It sent out the rewards. And this is the purchasing. So someone put 43 BNB. And... Then they ended up helping with the swap back as well. Again, if you want to check that, you can go over to the wallet. And we're going to try and find it here. If you can't find it on the list, there's been a lot of activity. You can either type in Cobcoin here, which it doesn't show. So we click view all and we'll try and find it here. So here's the Cobcoin. So you can either click the token here, which will show you that wallet what it's ever purchased or you can click the transaction hash we'll click cold coin here and we can see so they purchased two days ago six hours ago and here's the transaction hash so let's see what they brought for and let's see if they made profit so they paid 35 dollars and we can go back and we can click the first one this is the tax token so this one is the tax so that's a 10 percent tax if you click that it's not going to show any information relevant so they paid what was it let me go back and check so they paid $35 and bear in mind they would have got rewards at the time as well and you can click scroll down to the bottom of this and they sold for $21 so they made a loss on that they paid gas fee as well and BNB's price dropped in that time as well so that person didn't make a good trade so the other thing I'm going to look at is the contract itself now the contract is important because there's a swap back so you want to see how much tokens are in the contract. That means that how many um, fees are meant to be going out or how much, um, you know, the contract is going to sell. So if this is a high number, that typically means um, how much, you know, rewards are meant to go out. Um, if there's been a big pump, that means a lot of rewards are going out. So at launch, you could end up with about 5%. Sometimes I've seen up to 20% in the contract itself that means the contract is going to add sell pressure to it so always check that this is very fine um, but if there's a high amount in there then you better wait for those tokens to dump so when you're looking to buy a launch come here and i always check how much tokens are in there you can check the holder list as well and it will show you it will have a contract address next to it so it will have this little symbol next to it 
and it will probably show you so that's probably that's probably the contract address um it looks like it because it's swapping a lot so that could potentially be the contract address and that means that there's you know 0.7% supply in there and there's a lot of rewards to go out so that will add to the sell pressure so once the sell pressure is ended you can analyze it from there and see and that's probably the best way I would do it other thing to look at is the holders list so the holders list there's a burn address which is good and that's PancakeSwap's router so that means all the liquidity, all the tokens in there. Have a look at that. That's important. So there's 20% of the tokens still meant to be purchased. That's obviously a marketing wallet. And these are the holders. Yeah. Other thing to look forward to look out for is when there's a contract symbol, that means a contract's purchased. A lot of bots actually do that. And you want to be aware of how many are on here purchases that are through a contract. Chances are the dev will blacklist it. So we'll look at some tokens here. And we'll, we'll just look through some holders. What happened? How have they held? And that was a transfer. We'll try and find a purchase here. This was a transfer as well. So you can see transfer, that's a swap. So that's a buy or a sell. In means that's a buy. Out means a sell as well. And it tells you the quantity. And you can click the transaction hash and see how much they paid for. Um, so we can go back and try and find a random wallet, hopefully, that someone's just purchased. So this person, person purchased 64, eight days ago. They haven't sold. And we can see from here they paid $15 for quite a lot of supply. So that's good. Um, we can look in their wallet and we can have a little look and see what they've been doing in that time. So these are the, these are the rewards that are coming in off this. So this is another good example. So... Binance Smart Chain, they've received 43 cents, 44 cents, 13 cents, and it shows you how often the rewards have come through. Eight days, seven days, so we can click Binance. I think it will show us. No, it won't. Oh, it does. So this is the person's wallet. So they've got $2 in there, and these are all the transactions that have come through. So don't forget they purchased 80-something days ago. So this is all they've accumulated in rewards, which is not bad, actually, um, considering if the volume does pick up, then... Yeah, it will be a good amount off of that. And, you know, we can go through, check from here. The other thing you can do is click here, click BUSD, and then it will show um, everything from there. And that's probably the best way to do it, um, in my opinion. So I hope you found this video somewhat useful. If you've got any questions, I'll be doing one video on how the token, how we can look at the token, hold, not necessarily token holders, but actually the dev, what's the dev been doing? And we can analyze that so you can get a good informed decision off of that. I hope you enjoyed the video and take care.